They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Wilson. Flushed out right. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's a give to Penny. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light colored jerseys. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Again, it's Penny. Hopping over the top and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll run with Penny. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He lost two, and it brings up four. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And Pete Carroll looks like he likes his chances with the offense on the field. They're going for it on four. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Being chased out left. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome. But a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. So the victory here for Seattle, and we talk so much about the turn.